It is a hallmark of Rome's 3rd century that no emperor was ever really all that secure in his position, and while I won't do a video on every emperor wannabe in the era, a good figure to stand as emblematic of this phenomenon is the usurper Licinian. Decius was a very active military emperor, preferring to lead from the front and be out in the field directing campaigns himself. In early 251, Emperor Decius was in Thrace, aka modern-day Greece, Bulgaria, and Turkey, fighting the gods, when the senator Julius Valens Licinianus declared himself emperor back in Rome. Yes, in the capital. Imagine if the American president went overseas on a trade mission, and, and while he was gone, some senator said, hey, I'm the president now, and the other senator said, yep, sounds good. And I, for one, welcome our new insect overlords. According to the sources, Licinian was very popular among the people and had the support of the Senate. You know whose support he did not have was the current Emperor Decius, and by extension the very powerful lieutenant Decius had left in Rome to see to state affairs in his stead. Publius Licinius Valerianus, aka the future Emperor Valerian. Valerian put down Licinian's rebellion by the end of March, and Licinian was executed. 